went shopping. Look what I got, everybody. Happy Little Accidents. It's a party game. Bob Ross. And it says here, and I got, it's got colored markers and little tokens with squirrels on them. Peapod and Bob Ross. You guys remember Peapod? The timer and the cards. Let's see. <laughs> gonna have fun with this at Thanksgiving everybody with my fam see how creative everybody else is right okay so here's what the thing says all right the object happy little accidents is a game about turning mistakes into masterpieces you will transform abstract shapes and squiggles into charming pieces of art at the end of three rounds players will vote and the best drawing wins it says, get ready. Take turns quickly doodling a shape or squiggle onto each sheet of your drawing paper using the black marker. Place all the drawing paper in the center of the table, doodle side down, and mix them up. Okay, so obviously there's more instructions on here, but it looks pretty simple. It says, players, what did that say? Oh, yeah, ages six, oh, wait, three to six players, ages 10 and over. It's about a 15-minute game, which is good for the uh, low attention span group. <laughs> Um, so I guess you draw a card and it'll have one squiggle already on it and it'll tell you what to make out of it and see what everybody comes up with at random okay now I guess you vote you guys get little tokens it's a fun little game for the holidays hey look at that the story of Peapod here we go Throughout the joy of painting, Bob Ross often featured Peapod, a tiny squirrel that liked to sit in his pocket. This cute little devil was raised by Bob and then lived in his backyard. Peapod would scratch on the back door every morning and Bob would let the pocket squirrel pick out a nut for breakfast. Bob's bond with Peapod was so strong that a cartoon version of the little rascal was incorporated into the show. How sweet is that, everybody? Almost makes me want to jerk a tear. I'm sensitive that way when it comes to this kind of stuff. Isn't that cute, everybody? Look at that, Peapod. Hello, Peapod. All right, everybody. You know what? And I'm going to get a little snippet of me and my fam playing this game. And I will post that video after Thanksgiving. Now, on to this game. Greedy Grainy. I thought this was so funny, you guys. I'm going to put in a little snippet of the commercial right here. Greedy Granny, steal her cookies, but don't wake her up. They've broken Granny, and there go her teeth. Greedy Granny. Greedy Granny, will you risk it for the biscuit? Let's see what they got in here. First of all, it's uh, I got this at Target, too. And it says um, ages 4 plus, 2 to 4 players. Of course, I know this is a kid's game, but, you know, I get excited over little things like this sometimes. I like this, the tiniest, simplest little stuff. Kind of makes me happy. Let's see what we got here. Where's my trusty scissors? Greedy Granny don't have a head right here. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I have my gloves, still have my gloves on, but... They're on now, so whatever, everybody. Contents. One granny in an armchair. Two pieces for that. One set of granny's teeth, one treat wheel, and 12 treats. Greedy Granny is a mischievously fun game that is perfect for the whole family. Your mission is to swipe a treat of each type from granny's tray as carefully and as quickly as you can. One wrong move will wake her up and send her teeth flying. Will you risk it for a biscuit or will your move wake Granny? Okay. If the spinner lands on green, the player attempts to sneak a treat away from Granny. Pay attention to the number on the spinner section. This tells the player how many times you must press the button to the side of Granny's chair. I guess I take a treat. 
If the spinner lands on green, the player attempts to sneak a treat away from green. Pay attention to the number on the spinner. Just tell the player how many times you must press the button. Okay, so I guess it doesn't go by weight, or whatever. This is why you don't need batteries. So I pushed it. I landed on it twice. I pushed it twice. Let's see if I woke up Granny. Oh, my God. The first damn time. Holy crap, you guys scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. I'm sure. Okay. Well, anyway, this is Greedy Granny. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon back in the studio. All right. One more time, everybody. Only this time, I remembered to put her teeth in. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Granny is sleeping, and I have to push the button three times. First of all, I take a treat. Take a treat. Push the button three times. All right. I didn't wake Granny. She still has her teeth, everybody. <laughs>